Hello, I'm Louise Cullen. I'm an emergency physician here at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. And I've been doing research for a number of years into patients who come to our emergency departments who might be having a heart attack. Most people who come to the emergency department, the largest group, are people that might have a heart attack and have got symptoms that are similar to that. Thankfully, we know that after we investigate people, um, only a very small proportion do have a heart attack. One of the key essential tests that we need to work out who does and who does not have a heart attack is the troponin test. Troponin is a protein that's released by your heart muscle when it's damaged. What happens in a heart attack is there's a blockage in a blood vessel to your heart. This causes your heart to be damaged, releasing the troponin that we look for in your blood tests. Healthy people's troponins are generally low, so if we find any elevation, it can indicate some heart damage. The more extensive your heart damage may be, the higher the value of troponin that we will actually see in your blood test. This test will be done with an ECG, and what we're looking for there are different types of heart attacks. You'll find when you come to the emergency department, we do that troponin test very quickly. It's important that we know early on which patients have got heart damage. We are careful and considered about what tests we order here at the emergency department. We never want to miss anyone having a heart attack, but equally, we don't want to do things that are unnecessary for patients. You might actually have a number of troponin tests while you're with us. That's because sometimes it takes a little while for the troponin levels to um, rise in a heart attack and we want to make sure that we don't miss it. The other reason why we might do additional troponin tests is that we know that some people have um, higher levels of troponin, but they don't actually change. Elevated but unchanging results of troponin are sometimes seen in heart conditions like heart failure, but they may also be seen in kidney disease and some chronic inflammatory conditions of the heart as well. Troponin on its own can't detect a heart attack. We need to do a physical examination and the ECG, and often there are other tests like exercise stress tests or stress echoes or other cardiac imaging that needs to be done to diagnose a heart attack. There are different types of assays or tests for troponin. Some of them are handheld devices such as point of care devices, while other times we need to send your blood to the laboratory. Within the laboratory, there are different types of tests again. Different assays give different results, so your troponin results will only be specific to that assay. The troponin test is a very important test here in the emergency department. Every day, this test enables us to save lives. If you're unfortunate enough to come to the emergency department with a heart attack, we have the right tests. Rest assured, we will find it.